Hey everyone, it's Michael from Notefolds, and today I'm going to show you how to make this great graduation cap card, a mortar board here. You can see we've got this really fun tassel that your graduate can move from one side to the other on the graduation. And what's really neat about this is that it actually stands off the page. So you can see that it's got some dimension there so that when it's sitting, your hat, your mortar board is kind of standing off the page. That's really great. And then you have a lot of area here that you can decorate with, with messages, maybe the year they graduated, congratulations, all of that kind of fun stuff. Only three pieces of paper to make this and just a few folds that I'm going to walk you through right now. So let's get started. To make this card, you'll need three pieces of paper. In our blue, we have a nine and a half inch by four and a quarter inch, and then two pieces in gray, a four inch by three inch, and a two and three quarter by two and three quarter inch. I also have three pieces of string here that are about seven inches long, as well as a gold brad, and these will be used to make the tassel. We're going to start with the blue piece, which I've oriented vertically. And I'm just going to take a ruler and make a small line in pencil right in the center of the paper. And it doesn't have to go down very far. This is just going to be used to help me line up when I fold the edges to the center. We can always come back and erase that later. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this top edge and fold it diagonally down to meet that line that I just made. So I'll go ahead and show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to take the corner here and just bring it over so that edge, the top edge, meets the vertical line that I drew. And you can use a bone folder to help you with this. And if you're not sure about eyeballing it, you can always use a scoreboard to help as well. Now we're going to take the other side and move this top edge down to meet the center line here. So again, just pull it in. And we should get a nice point at the top and we'll use our bone folder. So there you can see that we've got that folded down. Now what we're going to do is fold this side edge up to meet this line where these flaps are folded down. So again, we're going to fold that up vertically. So just grab your edge here. And we're going to pull it up so that side edge lines up with the bottom of our folds here. Again, we'll get our bone folder in to help us make that nice and sharp since this is cardstock. Press that down. You can see we've got a nice point there. And then go ahead and unfold, and then we're going to do the same on this side. So bring this edge up diagonally to meet that bottom edge. Let's bring this up. And then we'll get our bone folder, bring it all the way down, and then unfold. Now we're going to turn the paper over, and we're going to fold the bottom edge up, and the fold line is going to go through the center of where these two diagonal lines meet. So just grab the bottom and pull it up. Until you see the center of those lines, make sure to get the edges lined up on the side so that there's no drift there. Again, we're using our bone folder. And then we'll unfold, and you can see that that line goes right through the center. Now the last fold that we need to do is we need to bring the bottom edge up again, but this time we want the horizontal line to just meet the bottom edge of those diagonal folds. So we'll pull it up, and so just when we see the, the bottom edge of those folds, those diagonal folds, and again, we'll want to make sure to keep our edges lined up, and use our bone folder, and unfold, and there you can see that that line is just touching the bottom edge of our diagonal folds. So now all the folding is done and we're going to start taping. So you can see that I've used my score tape here and just put it on the inside of that triangle that's formed by that bottom fold and then these two diagonals. And then we need to turn it over and we're going to tape on the back now. So on the back here, I've put score tape and remember these two flaps were folded down. So I just unfolded them 
and I put score tape just on these edges here. And then down here on this lower triangle, so you can see we have our big triangle here, and then there's two smaller triangles here. I've only put score tape just above the fold line. So here's the fold line, and the score tape is going just above that. So I'm going to expose the adhesive on this, and then I'll show you how to fold it down. Now with the adhesive exposed, we're going to just fold our two upper flaps back inward as they were before, and we'll just press that down. Now they should stay. And then for these two, we're actually going to fold them in simultaneously. So just put your fingers on the edge here and just push. You're gonna see it's gonna naturally want to follow those fold lines. We're just gonna keep pushing all the way down and you'll feel your fingers kind of inside the pocket here, just pressing down on that. And the reason we didn't run score tape over the entire thing is we still want the hat piece to pop up. So you can see how that is still popping up because we haven't put tape all the way. And that's why we just did it on the edges there. So now we're gonna start making the graduation cap and tassel. I've brought in my two and three quarter inch by two and three quarter inch piece of gray. This is the actual cap. And what we need to do is we need to make a small hole in the center where we're going to put our tassel and brad through. Now, if you have a crocodile big bite, you could use the eighth inch hole punch on that. Fortunately, I don't have that, so I'm gonna use the craft knife. I'm just gonna make a small X here, and that's where I'm going to push my things through. So I just made it right in the center, and for those of you who want to make sure it's exactly in the center, that's at one and three eighths inch. What I'm going to do now is start pushing my tassel through the hole that I made. So here I've just taken one of the seven inch strings and I've doubled it over so that I've got a loop at the top. And then I'm just going to use the end of my mechanical pencil here with the lead pushed back in to just push it through that hole that I made. So there you can see it's just gonna poke through on the other side. And then you want to repeat that for your other two pieces of string. So here it is now with all three pushed through and you can see that it looks like I have six strings. And then the other side, it's just kind of coming through. So we're gonna pull it through just a little bit more and then you could use some uh, score tape to kind of hold that down in place. Next thing we're going to do though is bring our brad in and we're just gonna push that over the top. So that's going to hold your tassel in place and we'll turn it over and just find those edges of the brad and spread them out across your paper. And then like I said, you could use some score tape if you really wanna make sure that that's held down. Now I've already pre-taped the edges here with the snail adhesive as you can see. So the next thing we're going to do is actually attach it to the base. So I've brought my base back in and you can see that we haven't exposed this adhesive yet. So we've turned it over and we're going to just press down our cap. And we're going to take, if it doesn't stick to me, we're gonna take our graduation cap and we're going to orient it so that our tassel is pointing up. Now that will actually point down when the card is finished. And we have our eighth inch allowance around the side. So you just wanna line the points up with this card, making sure to leave that nice eighth inch border all the way around. And there will be some bulk on the back because remember we have our tassel and brad sticking through. But we'll press that down so it looks pretty good. Now if we turn the card over, you can see that the tassel will actually end up hanging down when we finish the card. So the next piece that we're going to do is get our gray in here. So now we're going to take our two and three quarter inch by four inch piece of paper. We're going to attach that down here and I've already put my snail adhesive on. So we'll go ahead and line that up and we have our normal eighth inch borders all the way around. So just get that lined up and press it down. Now the next thing that we're going to do is expose the adhesive here from our score tape and we're going to press that down and that will actually make the graduation cap stand up. So we'll go ahead and do that. So what we're going to do is just bring the whole thing forward. It's going to fold on that horizontal line there. Just keep pulling it forward and then press it down. 
And there you can see we've got our nice cap with our tassel. You can see that it stands off the page a bit, which is really nice because then it can sit on their uh, mantle or on their desk, sitting right next to the diploma looks really nice. And now what you want to do is decorate it. You can stamp it, maybe with their name, maybe with congrats here, the year they graduated. Possibilities are really endless with what you can do with it. But it's a really great card, and as you can see, not too difficult to make, a lot of fun. So if you attempt this card, make sure that you post a picture of it in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, and also hit that subscribe button so that you can see all of our videos in the future. And until next time, we'll see you later.